so hello viewers today i will show you how i created this actual with budget dashboard so i will show give you brief overview of how i created this dashboard so you can see here i have created this table and i have also done some conditional formatting on it i have also created some data visualization here and i have also mentioned some kpis here means key performing index so to prepare this dashboard i also created various list of income and expenses in different different sheets here so let's go to income sheet first so here you can see i have created list of sales done during the month so customer names sales amount and actual amount received against that sales and all i have also mentioned this miscellaneous income here means if we are receiving some income apart from our core business revenue that also we need to consider so that i have mentioned here next is salary salary you can see production staff and other staff production staff means employees whose services directly affects company's revenue they are called production staff so considering this is it services company i have created list for production staff separately in here other staff like hr admin and accounts etc so budgeted amount and actual paid amount next is operating expense operating expense as you know some monthly fixed expense expenses like rent electricity etc and any other general vendor list i have mentioned here budgeted amount and actual paid amount next is taxes and penalty if we pay during the month whatever are there i have mentioned here so you can say gst tds profession tax uh, and any other tax whatever we pay i have mentioned here next is production vendor so vendor whose services directly affects company's revenue they are called vendor production vendor so uh, here budgeted amount and actual paid amount next is financing expense so if we have taken some loan and we are paying some emi or we are paying some interest on bank account like od or cc account that i have can prepared list for so budgeted amount and actual paid amount next is employee claims if any so any reimbursements are there that i have mentioned here so budgeted and actual paid amount so now let's come back to this dashboard sheet here you can see here in this table i have mentioned income and expenses as per the sheets i have created here so first is income then cost of goods sold means cogs means direct cost or input cost which directly affects company's output services cost or you can say final cost of services provided by company so goods are not sold here actually services are sold but this is a technical term cogs means final cost of goods sold so i group this two direct expenses or two direct cost to show final cost of goods sold and then here i have mentioned other indirect expenses so you can see here i have mentioned other salary here and production salary here say so one is direct expense and other is indirect expense so you can see here i have calculated gross income so from revenue i deducted this cogs to calculate the gross income and from gross income i deducted all other indirect expenses to finally calculate the net income so this is budgeted net income and this is actual net income you i will show you how i enter this amount here for example is equal to we will go to income sheet total of the budgeted sales amount plus miscellaneous income total enter so this way i entered all other amount also for budget and actual so you can see here i have mentioned here variance amount means difference between budget and actual so to calculate this is equal to actual minus budgeted income since income should be more than budgeted income if it is less then it is negative if it is more then it is positive so here income is less 
so it is showing negative variance same for the expenses here is equal to budgeted minus actual so expenses should be less than budgeted amount if it is more than it is negative it is less than it is positive so here we have spent less so it is showing positive variance same way i created all other variance amount so here you can see i calculated percentage of variance amount so to calculate is equal to if into bracket or into bracket a11 is equal to 0 comma d11 is equal to 0 bracket or comma 0 comma into bracket a11 minus d11 bracket over divided by d11 final bracket over so you can see this is minus 5 percent variance same way for expense is equal to if into bracket or into bracket d15 is equal to 0 comma e15 is equal to 0 bracket over comma 0 comma into bracket d15 minus e15 bracket over divided by d15 final bracket over enter so this is 8 percent positive variance same way i calculated all this variance percentage so now let's come to this data visualization part here you can see on this table i have done some conditional formatting so here in actual amount i have created this data bars to represent highest value and lowest value so to create this data bar go to conditional formatting select data bars these are ready bars if you want customize one select more rules here you can select color of your choice for positive and negative values and other options as per your choice and create data bars next this is various amount where i applied icon sets so i will show you how i created it i will clear this rule first again go to conditional formatting select icon set go to more rules here i will select icon of my choice and in type i will select number and okay so you can see here data sorry icon sets are applied here for negative value red cross mark for positive value green check mark next in variance percentage again i have applied data bars so for negative percentage mild red color for positive percentage mild green color and you can see for negative value data bar will go to opposite direction to represent correct value so now let's look at charts here this is budgeted versus actual revenue chart this is 3d cluster bar chart and this is to show comparison between actual and budgeted revenue so i have taken this data to create this chart and i also done some customization here like i change this bar type to cylinder bar type i change color here and i also done some formatting in text i change in i done some change in data labels and legends and created this chart next is revenue versus cogs chart so this is to show how much amount of cogs is there compared to revenue this is cogs part this is revenue part in column this is stacked column chart and to create this chart i have taken this data from this table and i have done some changes and formatting here also in color and all and created this chart next is donut chart so this donut chart is to show comparison between 
actual net income and budgeted net income so this is budgeted net income and this is actual net income to create this chart i have created here separate table to create the chart for net income budgeted and actual next is expense composition chart for actual expenses this is pie chart and this is to show contribution of each expenses compared to other expenses and we can see here where we spent more where we spent less to create this chart i created this table here so finally you can see here i have mentioned some kpis here so i have created this box here from shapes and enter text into it so this is revenue variance actual versus budgeted which is down by minus 5% so minus 5% i have taken here from variance percentage column and i have put this icon here to visualize its negative value so this is to show mainly that our sales are less than budgeted or expected amount of sales next is cogs percentage of revenue budgeted and actual this is to highlight that how much percentage of direct cost are there compared to revenue to calculate this cogs divided by revenue next is gross margin ratio budgeted and actual to cal calculate gross income divided by revenue budgeted and actual to calculate this both ratio and cogs percentage i have created this table in the background next is net income variance which is down by minus 7% minus 7% i have taken here from percent variance percentage column so here to highlight that our net income is less than budgeted or expected net income amount next is expense variance this is just to compare whether expenses are less or more than budgeted amount so to calculate this I created this table in the background and calculated the variance percentage. So you can see here for formatting purpose I have changed background color of the sheet. I have also done hyperlink here to directly go to the relevant sheet. So this is all about how I created this dashboard. Hope you like my video. And thanks for watching.